This is a weird thing because uh, John's not here, and I didn't actually ask him if we could do this before I hit record. But I thought it would be fun since I have in in the flesh Luke Miani, a real a real man, and, Hi. and it renders me being a real boy. Now it just looks like I'm grooming you. Yeah, <laughs> that is Did not. I when we were at Guitar Center getting a, a Zoom recorder and three mics looking like us. Bro, they absolutely are like, these sons of bitches are going to go start a podcast about military history <laughs> in the Korean War. No, we're talking about Apple News still. I should make that clear. That's almost worse. So there's an Apple event in On two weeks. What's wrong with you? Shut up. And Oh, man, this is hard. I feel like, I mean, I really am like dodging. Yeah, I, I got I to gotta lean back here to see Ian, and then I got to... Go up here. We've got like a whole little orchestra. So I did with my hand. I'm like, let me just spitball here okay. for when we inevitably do have an in-person podcast. Um, mm. Holding mics and sitting on a piano bench in a row where we're looking around each <laughs> other is probably not the best long-term solution. Yeah, we should be in like a, a semicircle. I think. An octagon. No, <laughs> I think. Can we put a candle in the middle? <laughs> I think what we're going to need yes. is a full-on three-camera setup. Yeah. Why did you stop talking? You can't just do that. Why did you stop talking? Is that something I can do on Zoom? You can't just do that. Did you spill? You just spit off like a baby. You know what? You guys lead. I I've been trying to steer. So there's an iPhone. But I want to get the Apple event out of the way because it's something John and I didn't get to talk about. Yeah. Because the invites came out after we recorded, and I don't even. And first of all, what? Yeah, that was when really has unexpected. Apple ever done an invite reveal two weeks before an event and on a Wednesday, which is already weird, dude. I we were we were about to go get a car, my yeah. new car, which we'll talk about in a second. The invites come out. It's like eleven a.m. on the dot. It's right after we all get up because we were up to like three a.m. the night before. And Ian's like, oh, my God, there's an Apple event. And I'm like, whatever, bro. And then we all refresh Twitter. And every person in, in the press is, you're invited to Apple Park. You're invited to Apple Park. iPhone 14 event, September 7th. The imagery is stars in the sky. <sighs> okay. Call, and it says far out. Far now, out. Now, before you chime in, I just want to let people know there have been rumors for years now that there's satellite connectivity coming to the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Bro, what else does it mean? So there's actually, um, this is an exclusive leak that I've got okay. for you guys here okay. tonight. Um, Apple is actually working on a boomerang functionality for the iPhone. So Makes sense. There's a reason you're not on Apple track. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Jesus. Um, excuse me, Mr. March. Anyone? March? Okay, How about fair. that? Dream that was all me, baby. Okay. Well, Th that was all you. Back studio and the studio display he leaked. Basically. And the green and the iPhone. Color. And the purple iPad. Yeah. That is true. We Wow, we, that was a pretty big leak. Yeah, was I good. leaked the whole event. Dude, this is... <laughs> I'm event. so sorry. If this ever gets released, just know... It if, will. Oh, come on. It was Bro. too much effort to get these mics. Okay, you're right. We did spend a lot of time getting this set up going. Basically, I'm just asking, can you, like, gas me up that the satellite connectivity is coming? Yeah. No. You genuinely don't think. I okay. think it's happening. We were burned last year. Really? On I, joking I, aside, you think it's happening? Okay. Because Apple has... I'm not acting. So I personally don't think that that issue is – I don't think that feature is going to be the most, like, game-changing thing ever. I think it's really cool. I think it's really useful. I see it sort of like an EKG on your Apple Watch where it can – like, it's cool, it's useful, but it's not, like, the reason that I'm going to buy an Apple Watch. It's not the reason that I'm going to upgrade. Yeah, it's like the fall detection. That's not, like, their major – like yeah, promotional and those aspect. are great life-saving yeah. potentially things that are absolutely great to have. But those like adding a sensor or a detector isn't getting people to upgrade. It's cool, but people honestly are gonna get the new purple color. They're gonna be like, no, "Oh I, man, it's purple!" I, I, oh, I the bezels purple. are thinner. I wow. think the comparison to EKG. I've been pretty, you know, harsh on negative opinions about this, but I do think the comparison. Yeah, you're to like EKG, a simp for satellite mode. I know I I am because the simple because simply no no other <laughs> thing. terrible. <laughs> okay, I apologize. Terrible. Right, I f Luke says he thinks it's coming and it, it's going to be impactful, but not the most yeah game changing. You don't think it's coming? Okay, no, I that's not it. I just feel like. That's a weird thing to base an event invite on. 
they've done i mean look at last year california streaming because that made no sense the only Bless real him. hint retroactively that you can look at is the blue glow is probably reminiscent sierra blue I yeah. mean, it was pretty similar. I'll I flash think it's the pretty similar on screen. Like it was pretty similar. I think that's probably that. the only thing, but there wasn't really any like dead giveaway. But go back to the iPhone 12 event, high comma speed. It was 5G. Yeah, absolutely. No, and 5G, we all knew that in advance too. Yes, but to be clear, they did market 5G as the big super cycle upgrade. Well, again, you could argue, did 5G really even matter until a year later? No, I would still even doesn't. say that it still doesn't. It still does I would not. say that it still kind of sucks. I, I get mean, like 30 down in yeah. New York. In New York is what? like what? In New York, in New York City, City on okay, 5G, you have to be like in like Times Square to get. Crazy numbers. They, and even they, then, it's still see, like a hundred. That's just a fail. Then it is. Yeah. Like New York is where they should put it. For, there's eight million people. To okay. Live okay. Or, or AT and T just sucks. That I've had times it. where it <laughs> switches to five G and gets slower. Yes. Yes, I've had. That. I proved that. Because there are some times where four bars of LTE just is faster than having two bars of five G. No, that's the thing. It's, it's sometimes the way the bands work for Verizon and AT and T. I I've been very critical of five G. Uh. I've never taken any money from a phone carrier. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they even do that? Isn't Mint Mobile a carrier? Sponsor? Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> Dude. Oh, you're, you're right. Okay. You okay. are such a hypocrite and okay. a liar. But canceled. <sighs> Sam, you're done. But Mint's like you're actually done, a good one. buddy. Mint uses towers from T-Mobile, I think. And t I didn't mention T-Mobile. is good. T-Mobile's got, I think, the best 5G still. Like, yeah, they have some really good coverage. You were saying coverage. that they had yeah. already got a deal with SpaceX? Okay, okay, so I read, like, nothing, so I don't want to pretend Where's I my know. phone? Because I do want to pull up... This is hard. So this is an article from Mac Rumors. It says... T this is connected to... Well, again, far out, it just lines up a little bit too much. It's a partnership between T-Mobile and SpaceX, T-Mobile being the carrier that I've never accepted money from, and SpaceX being the big satellite launch company that's trying to provide internet through satellites it says uh, they announced a plan to offer smartphone connectivity nearly anywhere in the u.s with a new satellite to cellular service okay but it's only t-mobile the new technology yeah. will leverage spacex's second generation starlink satellites in low earth orbit apples were rumored to be leo low earth orbit and t-mobile's nationwide mid-band 5g spectrum uh Basically, if successful, it would eliminate mobile dead zones. Bro, why would they we, advertise for one carrier, though? Are we talking about a Tim Cook x Elon Musk crossover episode? I, I, I don't believe it until I see it. Okay, but who else has low Earth orbit satellites that would be usable by Apple, regardless of carrier? Who else has those? Does anyone... I don't know anything like I know? about satellites. Yeah, I... Do you guys have any satellites? I didn't know they existed until the Genius Let launch. me know where your satellites are in the comments below. Look at him go. He's reading. So it basically says that Apple doesn't seem to be involved with this, and this is something simply that T-Mobile and SpaceX have done, and that it, you don't need additional hardware, and it will be compatible with most smartphones on their network. So if you're a T-Mobile customer, it says that basically it's going to allow you to hybrid connect to these satellites via the t-mobile network is it also android phones now listen they announced this and it says it's going to launch in beta in late 2023 bro mm. that's a little far so out so this is a so year it's not that early <laughs> here's what makes me think it is coming as well is that no don't do that it's going to sound bad what what genuinely makes me think this is coming as well though is um Global Star, which is the mm. rumored partner for Apple to launch this, announced earlier this year that a major partner had signed on to put satellites in the sky this year. Okay, but that's did, a little bit. But they on did the nose. not announce who the partner was. And wow. we, we have, I can't cite the exact same. I know Apple's done this before for a feature where a company has preemptively been like, for investors, we've got a big deal with someone. Because mm -hmm. think about it from there's like if Global Star could have announced already that they have a partnership with Apple, their stock would be like, oh my god, that's a massive partnership. Yeah, it would have also. Invest. Are you are you suggesting Given that we away. buy stock in them? I am in no let's, let's way. Let's not give investing I advice, in no Luke. Way, do not just keep talking. Is that insider trading? Bro, I'm so dehydrated. I'm so you really dehydrated. are. We're just, we, we just it. golfing. Do you want me to fill you up another one? No, I can't. You sure? 
I need to, bro. I can do this. Do another I can cold help one. You out. Crack Look, we're cold. here Crack for you. Cold water. Crack open a cold can of water. Oh, H two O. Dude, water? canned water. They had. That's our business idea. When I was at Apple Park, they had aluminum bottles with water in it, and it actually tasted better than normal water. This bro, is, yeah, I, I imagine, had that with Max. Imagine Dude, an anodized oh. aluminum can of water. Aluminium, excuse me. Blank. Dude. It just says water. It was Wait, so thin good. Pot. Wait, I should do that. <laughs> So uh, I mean I don't know. Imagine the we're Twitter gonna make engagement. this is gonna be this is our dude. If Voss Water can just make a cylindrical bottle okay. with a silver cap and just be like, bro, electrolytes, we can make an aluminum can that just says water, but we take out the e. Wa- water. Water. No. <laughs> Do you guys water. have any other thoughts about the Apple event? Are we just going to make a water company? iPad and 10 I, by the is way, shaping up to be a pretty interesting device. As we know, we've got rumored reports that the iPad 10 is going to be featuring a flat-sided design more in keeping with the current generation of iPad Pro. It's clear that Apple is moving in that direction, so it's good to see that we're going to finally get that on the entry-level iPad. Now, what we are still waiting to see is what Apple's going to do with the home button. So on previous versions of the iPad, dating all the way back to the original iPad Air where the current design originates, Apple has included a home button on the bottom of the device. But it remains to be seen whether we could see an upgraded system that uses a Touch ID button in the lock button. Now that would be a little bit weird though because then you would have thick top and, shut up, (laughs) thick top and bottom bezels with no buttons in them, I find that to be a little bit strange. And why would you find that to be a little bit strange? Because it's ugly. I don't think that's an option. I think it's either home button and weird thick bezels or yeah. like an iPad Air S display. That's what I think. Mm. I think you're. I if think they're, iPad Air. If they're going to have a square screen it and has those to have thick a home bezels, button. it's going to have a, a normal home button. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of confused I'm on it, I'm hoping that they'll get like a laminated display, oh, USB-C. Geez, dude. I hope. It's getting USB C. It's getting A14. It's getting 5G, and it's getting an Apple Pencil. What's separating from the iPad Air besides the M1, which does nothing? Okay, well, yeah. Yeah, but why? (laughs) Well, and the screen, right? That's why they keep that square, thick bezel home button. Oh, so you think it's going to be that? I do. I think so. Okay. Because otherwise, it's wait, wait, it's got to be. I never thought about that actually. And it's like no. Never mind. Because Apple is not dumb. They realize fully that nobody cares that they put an M1 in the iPad. Yes. They, they're not going to... It's gonna, probably a soft... They, a soft they have what? the foresight Cost. to think, hey, Jesus. if we put an A14 in a, a, an iPad 10 mm. with minor downgrades, like, oh, the bezels are a little thinner, it's 0.1 of an inch smaller, but it's 399 Nobody's going to ever look at an iPad Air ever again. Yeah. yeah, no, you're right. I didn't think about that, man. Can I say something? Okay. Yeah. No, no, this yeah. Is, no, this is my show. I don't know. Yeah. This okay. is my show. I'm Oh lord. I'm a little I'm a little sus on those cads. Mm, what you makes you so? sus about the cads? Okay. Oh, I know what you're going to talk I about. I would love to eat my words, mm-hmm. but there's just a few small things about them. Number 1, the iPad is not significantly, but it is rounder than the iPad Air currently. No, no, no. This guy no, no, no. I w- he talked with for two roundness. hours last night because it how looks the good. Okay, is Sam, be round, Sam, bro. This, this is gonna go somewhere though. Okay. Okay. No, this is. I know where he's going. Okay, with this. and then it's juicy. And then also the camera, although it looks like it would fit, it just doesn't fit in the same cases as the as the iPad Air. And then it's also more curved. So you have to have what, a what new he's saying is magic keyboard. The, the camera on the CADs doesn't line up with where the camera bump is placed, so it wouldn't fit in the the usual slot. I mean, obviously, this is the 12.9 inch, but the camera bump doesn't work. So that means either that's CADs are wrong. That's wrong, or maybe they're like slightly or, incorrect. Or yeah. it means that there's an entirely new smart accessory that has to be made for it. Including the Magic Keyboard, right? It's not only like the folio and everything. It's like yeah. this $300, what? Yeah, $300 I don't know. accessory. That's a little weird to me. Yeah, imagine someone having to buy a new accessory. Now, you could that make sounds the like claim Apple. that... I was just going to say. <laughs> no, honestly, yeah. That, honestly, now it sounds I'm like they're going to come up with their own line. It's honestly surprising <sighs> that they didn't like make this case not work with the older ones. 
Hell yeah. But you could also argue that this doesn't fit on the current base iPad. Dude, they have so like a nice separate stuff. keyboard cover. For I just that. sold mine. Can we? Can we talk about though, how this it, is though. one of like the best products Apple has ever made? Sorry, my mic is in my lap. Can you show? It really changed my iPad, dude. Like, like this, this Magic Keyboard is it's crazy, phenomenal. Like if there is, it's expensive. <laughs> if there's ever yes. an Apple product worth three hundred dollars, I'm I'm gonna say it. It is this okay. Magic Keyboard. I could get behind that. It is, and you have to get it in so black solid. because the white one gets oh my so God, smudgy and dirty. You, you gotta get it. I'm gonna bleep out the the yeah, word. Yeah, no, we're gonna. You gotta get a, a skin from a certain all, all company. All brand names will be bleeped if they're 100%. not paying us. No, that's how it should be, bro. Absolutely. Do we have a sponsor for this? It's sponsored by Genius. Go to Genius.Supply and give us your email. Sponsored for... by Luke Miani. Go to Luke Miani. Dot... And that was Luke Miani, guys. Round of applause. Okay, so you want I just to realized. Over? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, we have so much. Oh. oh. <sighs> Is this? Bro, I feel like we've been doing this for three hours. We are 20 minutes in. <laughs> Dude, I <laughs> ju legitimately thought it was longer. We're really tired. Okay, so let's tell them. We've Wait, talked about the bro, Apple event. It's 12.36, and I, we have to, I have a flight in like six hours. So let's talk about, now that we've covered the event, why you guys are here. Why did you come visit me in St. Louis? Was it just because you, got, you guys are my, my friends? Yeah. I actually came here to rob you. Oh, no. Blind? I'm taking yeah, your iPad I won't mini. look. <laughs> Please take the iPad Mini. I don't. I've. Uh, I don't like the iPad. Do you like the iPad Mini? I love it. I sold mine. I never used it, but I like it. It's yeah, cute. That was exactly my thoughts. I like. I like the form factor. I like the idea of it, but it wasn't that useful. It does not feel like a five hundred dollar product. It's five hundred dollars. Yes. Thank you. Jesus Christ! I thought it was like four hundred. Yeah, no, no it, I've said that the screen for is shit. Okay, wait. I've noticed the jelly scroll. I thought this man was making it up. It's pretty noticeable. I, no, it's. Oh, yeah. this is great that John can't talk. <laughs> I like when no, he's, he not. he's been like. No bop, 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 bop. Like okay, if <laughs> if iPadOS looked better, if the screen was higher quality, and if honestly. Honestly, the, if icons the screen was bigger. a little bigger, and the icons too. Yeah, the bezels are kind of thick. I could see it maybe being useful for somebody. I still wouldn't buy one because I, I mean, I really wanted to like it. It and it it's really cute, but I just, yeah, five hundred is kind of crazy. Four hundred is too much. Think of a use for it. Yeah, yeah, I went to the Apple store and was actually like talking to the employee. Was saying, yeah, I kind of want to <sighs> get this for college to take notes. She was like. Yeah, I'd get the iPad Air. If no, I were no, it, it, the no. Air it's, it's too small. It's too small for notes. You can write like a sentence. Yeah. Does the iPad Mini work with an Apple Pencil? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. That's what the they whole volume button thing the is. Volume buttons oh, to make yeah. They had early before, prototypes so they didn't with, have a, to with make a mini a pencil. Small pencil. I remember. Remember, we saw the leaks of the mini pencil. We did. I'm really glad <laughs> that they realized that that was stupid because who would be? They already were selling yeah. the iPad Mini for five hundred dollars. And then you have to buy a special stupid little pencil for seventy just to use it. And imagine being in the store no and being like, "Oh my god, that. I got the mini pencil instead of the normal one." Like, <laughs> what if it's cute though? No, it's not going to be <laughs> cute. <laughs> hmm. Well, the problem really is that the there. length of the pencil isn't it? necessarily a functional thing. It's, it's the just, girth that matters. The, I've been no, telling her that weight. for years. <laughs> it's the <laughs> weight. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, it's, it's, how you, it's not how you it's use it. It's not how you use it. it. It's the, the length. Yeah, the length is fully and that's the fundamental crucial. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> getting it. I'm leaving. Yeah, pivotal. Yeah, I'm sorry to report. Wow, you, guys, you guys have both walked out. But oh, size absolutely oh matters because no, it's about the counterweight. When you are writing, <laughs> when you are writing, the the top of the pencil wiggling around was gives the it the weight that okay. it needs. I'm serious. All right. No, no, no. But like. Do you ever try? Would you ever take a test with where you have to write a bunch with like a little golf pencil? Have you? Yeah, have you never They're played weird. mini golf? They're fine. Okay, yeah, for writing the number three. It's just because you're bad at mini golf, bro. But you're gonna you get your actually, you're if gonna you're get actually your writing kicked. or you're gonna lose again like you did at Top wait. Golf tonight. Look, I first of all, I won yeah. one game. I won this. I won okay, the I actually you won, won the first game by pure luck. No, by I, pure luck. No, it was. It's called uh, skill in my swing. You missed. 80% Ever heard of, of a guy called uh, yeah, you went in the Tiger first, like, Woods? Thing. That's not fair. That's my dad. No, he's not. That's my dad. You're, I was going to say his... I don't know. You can't say that. I'm pretty we're, sure we're you live. can't say that. What? We're, pretty, say that. we're pretty sure you can't say that. I was going to say, <laughs> what's his son's about? name? So the actual reason that, that Ian and I came out here was because 
Sam, he's been a good boy. He's been a patient boy. for Christmas. And his brand new 2022 Tesla Model S Long Range. <sighs> Let me pull it up. Just got delivered. Show the people. You got to get the picture. Out it's so. it's oh. stunning. Oh, yeah. Frankly. I'll put that on the screen. I forgot we're editing this. This is not live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, my God. So we got a new car. <laughs> yes. A new Tesla Model S. And it's crazy. For context, I have waited a literal year. I ordered it in September of 2021. That's and it not a year. That's 11 that months. Is, that's 11 months. I've waited a days, literal actually. 11 months and 22 days. Thank you. And um, it's incredible, and I love it. I, I've come to. I was a little sus at first. I'll be honest. The first day they saw me, I was like, I don't know. It's bigger. There's a couple of issues. There's the the windshield the wipers. Windshield wipers. Oh, should we talk about that? May or may not hit the hood because the car was built improperly. <laughs> Sam, can we get a clip right now? Bruh. And that was that clip. I love editing. I hope you uh, remember to do that. I no, I'm gonna watch this back. I'm not just gonna throw it up. Trust me, with you, with this gang in the stew. You you say that with you and John and your guys bare ass and you getting canceled every you're, twenty minutes if John doesn't edit it out. I wasn't exposed. I was well, you're yet. collectively because the two of you are a on. unit of chaos. Yes. So we got the Model S. We've driven it a lot. We got, Luke's doing an amazing video, which will be out when. No clue. Yeah, I probably took too many videos. My bad. No, yeah, it's, no, there's it's a lot good. to go through. Yeah, because Ian kept freaking cutting every two okay, seconds. I thought that was normal. I didn't know you wanted like a he four hour clip. Master. I was the cut master. He was the cut master. Final, the final cut master. I, you could say. You could say it. You could call him the master cutter. Yeah, he is a massive cut. <laughs> he is a massive cut. <laughs> Thank you. That sounds You're welcome. like <laughs> we're getting somewhere with that. That was not the word, man. I I don't know if we can put this out. This is bad. No, it's good. No. You guys are scared. This is how I am every time I record. I'm scared. <laughs> what, why, what are you do scared of? Do I put it of? out? Let me know. I'm scared I'm going to get canceled What do you mean real? let me know? For They're what? already watching it. If it's out. Dude, it's, it's too Comment late. down below if this is out. We, I have to be up in like four hours. Same. Okay, so let's wrap it up here. Close it's, in but time. But it's only been like 30. We have to do at least. No, we're going to get copyright strike. We have to do at least three hours, right? Dude, okay, 34-minute podcast. No, we're going to cut That's some in the beginning. Okay. It's going to be about 30. A uh, three-minute podcast. You'll edit in the correct <laughs> amount of time there. I, that was, I gave you a little bit of wiggle room there. <laughs> I thought you had a stroke. You okay. do some editing magic. I mean, what do you guys think of the car? What, are you Tesla? Are you going to be a Tesla fan now? I think the Tesla Model S is the only Tesla I could see myself owning. But could you ever I see would, yourself owning? Honestly, so I, could drive a, three, I could drive a semi-truck. A Model 3 to me is an really? appliance. It's a dishwasher. It's unexciting. It's, it's ubiquitous. Fridge. And it's just, it does the trick and it's good, but I would never own one. I mean, the I, Model I, S felt special. Yeah, there is something about the S that felt more special. The, the 3s are just everywhere. It, yeah. And the Model S felt fresh because we were in a brand new interior. Mm. The, the old S interior is 10 years old. The Model 3 is four years old. It's not that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Model 3, but it's not. it doesn't have the best build quality. It's simple, plain materials. Yeah. The Model S def definitely takes it up a notch. What are you doing? I'm so thirsty. Do you want me to get you another glass? No. Do you want me to tuck you in? Yes. <laughs> so, I, okay. Okay. The big question is. Yeah. With what you paid for the Model S, yes, when you actually ordered <laughs> Which it, which is under what it is now, it's a few, it's many grand under what it is now. Many, many a grands. Would you pay the current price? Um, I mean, part of me does say yes because I, I want something bigger than the three, and really the only option in my price range was an S. Like the X is too much. I think the X was like one sixteen or one twenty now to start. To start? to start. Oh, that's insane. Before yeah, it's you do nuts, dude. Or wheels or anything. So I'm just kind of like. And we saw the Porsche Taycan today. We did indeed. If I could have been turned this way the whole time, I need yeah, to like, yeah. I, that was kind of weird when you turned. I was like, hey, what's I, I'm, I feel bad now. No, like I, I'm sorry. It's just like the word. I think it's when two men share a bench. There's just a different connection. It's just I, a, I understand. You know, it's just like it's it's a separate vibe that wow. you just will I'm never sorry. understand. It's okay. You know, what? I'm in a comfy chair. No, I've I, been like swiveling. This might I be like annoying. I like your shirt, by the way. That's a, he's got an Apple. That's Park a good Apple Park shirt. Look at that. Yeah, I feel like I need to turn. I'm gonna turn this way for the rest of it. Because we wanted that's to weird. get, you know why it I'm feels weird? Because he's been podcast. talking the most. Yeah, that's why I've been turning this way. Because okay, it, I'll because shut it, up. No, I'm not saying that. I feel like I'm third wheeling. This is like a marriage. It's like 
I just feel stuck already. Am I the son? Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> you are a child. <laughs> We're <laughs> like the dog. Like the no, dog no. Dog. chimes in randomly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is fucking wild, dude. This is so uncomfortable. Anyway, so the Model S. I didn't think John kept me on track, but <laughs> now I'm of all the people that keep you on track, John Prosser is the last person I would think of. I love John. So yeah, I mean, what do you think of the Model S? Okay, at first, I was a little, <laughs> I don't know. My opinions definitely changed on Tesla as a whole. Same. I didn't. That's crazy. I, I'm mm-hmm. pretty impressed with it, Okay. quite honestly. Yeah. Some of the things like the interior quality and, you know, the gaps, like that does like those, I don't For know, stereotypes. Grand, yeah, it's those kind of do hold enough. up. No, it's bad. Especially when we saw the, the Taycan, which was built like an absolute tank. Yeah. I, I don't know. Which is Porsche's electric for yeah that does yeah it. we we drove well we didn't drive but we got to <laughs> we, we sat in <laughs> we <tried>. observe <laughs> a uh, a used 2020 Taycan 4S so it had like 10,000 miles on it and mm. it it felt it felt better near. yeah oh the build quality and the structure was so much more solid it, like it, just it, the it door felt panel felt like a brick wall yeah. the center console was completely rock solid. The windshield wipers didn't hit on the hood. They did not make a booming noise. <laughs> but there, there is something special about the Tesla. Absolutely. I agree. It feels different than any car yes, ever. Yes. Just because of how the interior looks. Like when you drive a Tesla, I'm not going to lie, Sam, it feels like a normal car. Yeah. Like the, the, the one pedal driving, that's cool. That's an electric vehicle thing. A lot of people have that. The yoke is bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Oh yeah, it. I forgot it about it. It looks cool on the I'm, highway, but it's bad. I'm I don't warming. like it. I don't you're like the up buttons, the capacitive buttons. That's weird. It looks cool until you turn, and then you're holding but like, like this, like like when you're on the highway driving. Looking. When you're on the highway driving, a Model S feels like any car. It's normal until you put your foot on the accelerator. So the thing yeah, that makes yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, then you got a spaceship. The thing that makes Tesla stand out is. The ultra different interior. Yes. The center screen and autopilot and their system and the software and autopilot. Yeah. And the, those are the well, big differences. And the acceleration. Yeah. That the driving not. dynamics are very normal. Yes. If even a little bit underwhelming. I agree. It's it's very good in a straight line, but yeah, yeah. it's a heavy car. It's it's <laughs> honestly it's an American muscle car. That's what muscle yeah, cars were known for. Yeah, you know what? I mean, honestly, <laughs> fast in a straight I have line, never heard that, huge. but that's pretty. No, that's it pretty really interesting. Is. You know, uh, yeah, because I, yeah, no, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's Ameri- yeah, it's American muscle car, and it's great, and I really like it. I'm very grateful to everybody watching, and all my friends and my family. You're Ooh. welcome, <laughs> and not <laughs> us, because we came here and ruined this episode. That- Okay, so we we touched oh, yeah. on. I mean, the whole episode we did. Uh, that's I should. I hope they got us out before this one. Because this will probably come out this weekend as a bonus. Was me, Sarah Dietschy, and John Prosser in VR, and it was wild and it was fun. But the headset is so heavy; mm. it is extremely unintuitive still. Yeah. And I just feel like I just don't know how Apple is going to nail that. That's heavy. Ima- to, to wear it on your you, head. Oh, yeah, no, imagine tell. that thing full aluminum and glass. Dude, no, they can't do that. First they, of all, I think, would, no, I think it will fail. Titanium. If it's too heavy, it will there. It will I fail. This, yeah, no, absolutely. This is like. Do you really the think Max? Do you really think that that's not even heavy at all? No, no, it's no, no, not I, heavy. I, I I'm understand. saying it's when it's on your head. No, I get it. I, do you I'm really think that it. Apple is not aware of that? No, no. I think I that know is they their are. number. They've their never number used it. one priority is going to be: we need to make a VR headset that is mass that is appeal, actually wearable by normal people. Yes. And if they can do that, they win. I've said this for a while. They don't. They don't even need to do anything special. They just need to take this and make it mass market, which, which is yeah. what they did with the smartphone. It's what they did with the tablet. It's what they mm-hmm. did with the computer. They're, like they're not going to do that though. You know they're going to over engineer it. They're going to make it three thousand dollars. It's going to have these mini LED displays. Mm. Like it's going to be the best. <sighs> why not OLED displays? Because the rumor said mini. There's been why they would do mini LED and not OLED. This I if can't it's explain. It's such a small screen. I, there's been conflicts about the because we've heard four dual 8K, dual like 12K screens. Yeah, I the think. rumors. I don't know about that. I I just want to bring this quote up because people forget this quote from Mark Gurman. But Mark Gurman had a quote years ago from okay. an Apple employee that said, "Quote." Hmm. The view from the Apple headset is indistinguishable from real life. 
end quote. It was reality, I think. That is a real From quote. years ago. So I'm just saying that has been in the back of my mind. Because, yeah, yes, when same. I, also, dude, when I put this on, like, it, there is never a part of me that's like, oh, mm-hmm. what, I'm gone. I mean, you get a little, your brain gets distracted, but it's never yeah. like, you never guess if you're in VR. Yeah. Which, that could be dangerous. Like, imagine like, if you... W- <laughs> imagine someone wears it their entire life and they just get... You live... Bro, See, that, that's where there's some dystopian. Ready Player One. No, that's where there's some or dystopian like the stuff. Meta wants you to live in the Good metaverse. Movie. Have you seen... Oh, I, I, I'm so tired. My hand is to so get off sweaty. Here. Oh, my God. It's have hot. You ever, I turn have you seen too. the ads that Meta has been running where they're like, this classroom may not be real but one day with the power of ai and virtual reality these students could be studying mark antony dude you have to look these up that's terrifying their ads are so cringe they're so cringe they're like like the rcs ones and they're all hypothetical they're literally like this medical student could one day be practicing surgery on a virtual patient before doing it for real and it's like they're all just like ideas that they came up with off the top of their head. They're like, "Oh, what if you what if you looked in a classroom?" They like wrote them on a whiteboard. It's like these they're advertising features that don't exist for the foreseeable future. The ad doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I don't like it. I mean, I That's don't why like official Lupiani like take is I don't, I don't like, like meta. No. And they honestly and it's H- impressive to be hmm. so bad and so universally hated. I almost have to give them credit for it. It's incredible. No other company. They're the best at what they do. But yeah. also, they have a billion daily active users still. How? I don't use Facebook. I, have but a, I do use Instagram. Yeah. They're yeah. Daily active users. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, they are not far off. They are ruining Instagram with every turn. They're like, oh, bro, everything is reels now. Oh, yeah, they, they, that is oh. the only hey, way you what? get Your homepage is going to be one photo of your friend, and then it's 75 reels from someone that you don't know and you don't want to see. Pro tip if you want to grow your Instagram, I've seen this time and time over. The only real way to grow your Instagram right now is with reels. The only and real it's just too way much to effort. grow. It's, I wanted to get I into mean, it. I, it's fun. I don't know. I mean, I, I've been posting them on the at APPL TRACK at Apple Track. That's me. Do people know that I do Apple Track? I feel like half people are like, that's Sam. And the other half of the people are like, this is just a Twitter account I follow. You know, no, I, have, I, I haven't it's talked crazy. about this yet, but since this is a bonus episode. Yeah, go into it. Tell us your tale. It is crazy to see how Mac rumors and 9to5Mac have seen what I've done with Apple Track and are literally planning to hire people to try to beat me at what I'm doing. That is pretty crazy. These I'm are just established saying established businesses with employees that make millions of dollars per year. Yeah. And I'm just like And how many millions of dollars do you make? Per I do not make any millions of dollars. <laughs> I have Do you not, make any dollars? I'm not a millionaire. Are you a millionaire? No. Right, would you tell people if you were a millionaire? I don't know. Would you? I feel like they'd be able to tell. I'm worth like 8 bucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean that's that is the life of a college student. Yeah. I don't know. I just it just frustrates me that I've I feel like I've really connected to this audience, and I'm mm. really proud of it. Like it's something that like Apple Track is like it's been really fun. I'm really proud of how the posts do and how they connect with people, because it's just like Apple News got so boring. Yeah. And so stale, and so we're gonna repeat the same eight details in every post that I wanted to disrupt it. And and the site AppleTrack.com never really did it. But the Twitter account did like overnight, the Twitter account, like I saw an engagement and connection when I started not focusing on the money. Cause to be clear, I don't make any money from Apple track on Twitter unless it's sponsored. Like yeah. there's no ad revenue on, I've made $0 in the past six months from Apple track and yeah. in any way, really. <laughs> now I've got some sponsored deals coming up for like the fall for the account. But my point being, my idea is essentially that, you know, if I can invest now, I'll, I'll it'll pay off later. Like if I invest now for for no money and I'm just doing it for fun and for the right reasons, kind of like why I started YouTube, it it'll connect because I genuinely care about Apple News. Mm-hmm. And it's working. I mean, how many it followers is really do you have on working. I appreciate that. You have 111 something. Yeah. I mean, my like my goal crazy. my goal in January, I said I wanted to hit 80k followers this year. I'm 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 gonna be like 150,000 by the end of the year. That's incredible. That's ridiculous. When did you start? Year ago? Uh, yeah, I mean, I really, I started May, May 2020 is when Apple Track launched. I think the account on Twitter had 400 followers. Here's a wow. question that I have for you: Have you ever thought, given the success of Apple Track, yeah. have you ever thought about rebranding <laughs> your channel and calling it Apple Track? 
Luke. <sighs> Don't get into this. This is like Apple would be. I'm you pretty. Can't say that. Yeah, this is. We're <laughs> going. We're going deep. I see, but I feel like we get deeper on these in person. No, yeah. Like over. I feel like that's a good question, though. No, I am definitely working on a rebrand from iUpdate to Apple Track as we speak. Are you really? Oh. I've got somebody working on like intro. Oh my god! Everything. This is big. This is breaking out. news. This is big. Listen, news. I need. Okay, I, I want the diehards this that have clicked big. on this episode. Do I change from iUpdate to Apple Track? Because to me, it would make sense to unify the brands. And if people see, you know, Apple Track on Instagram and Twitter, wow, they might be more likely to click on a video on YouTube and be like, oh, I like this, you know, this brand voice essentially. Wow. I mean, what do you guys think? Do I, because I update, I've, I was first iUpdate OS and then I switched to iUpdate in 2018. So I've been iUpdate wow. since 2018. This do is a I, bombshell. I thought I had told you guys this. No. It, no. Did I? Have no, I, you've not told us. Oh, I this. thought you guys were just playing this up for the podcast. No, I, I worked for no, Apple no, Track. You didn't tell me, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Sorry, do I owe you money still? Eh, it's fine. No, no, bro. do I owe you money? We have to. We'll figure this Come out on. after no. the show. No, you deserve to get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. I did pay you for what I thought was the equivalent. Yeah, no. We'll talk about it. I want to make sure you get paid. Yeah, you paid uh, me. It's fine. Labor okay, okay. <laughs> unfolding here. So yeah, I, I, I think I update is going to become Apple Track, and part of it scares me because it feels more like corporate-y. Well, but, but you were just like, talking about how you built this relationship with people on Twitter. Yeah, but I think people really respond to the name Apple Track, and I feel like for exactly. what I do, which is mainly news, it does. I mean, what do you what do you think? I update or Apple Track? Oh, that's hard, dude. I remember. I don't know when we talked. I about say it. Apple Track. I say we're shake about it up. Sam Cole. Yes, and then the other idea is Sam Cole. I think Apple Track because it's already established and yeah. it's something already, that people you have turn 111, to. Hundred and eleven thousand. Followers, followers on Twitter and then 300,000 on YouTube. Like, so do you link your YouTube videos on Apple Track whenever you have like an accompanying piece? Oh, you should do that. I don't because a lot don't do it in the post, but do it in do the post below. You like get a crazy yeah. impressions and engagement. So, if you if you post the news That's as true. it breaks and then you put your video on it Learn from more. Apple Track. With associated branding. See, that's why it would make sense because it's weird. Yeah. It's like, you who's would this get, I update guy? Why are they tweeting? This looks sketchy. But yeah, if it's you just would, Apple you Track. Would, you would get, for sure, with the engagement that you get, you, you would be trafficking a couple thousand people. Because yeah, I don't cross promote at all. <laughs> yeah, that's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> you should be doing that. I guess, that. That, you know, that's a good idea with the threads because I never want it to be, because again, to connect with an audience, I don't want to just like shill my own content. Yeah, no. you. I want it to be authentic and that's what I'm really proud the, of about it. The Twitter content stays exactly the same. The only difference is you're adding you're adding you're adding another tweet below. Yeah, where you you expand upon it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And honestly, Apple Track Shorts. I do have a Shorts channel for Apple Track that no one's found. What on YouTube? <laughs> I've been messing Bro. with the Shorts, and a couple got like a few thousand views. I think it's just Apple Track Shorts. I was sixteen. Work, Jesus. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know if it'll show up. There's only a few video. Oh, I'm still trying to get to the YouTube here. But yeah, I, I mean, listen, I've been work. There it is. Found it. Eight subscribers. So how many views are we looking at? 2,500 on that one. We've got 1,500, 659, 2,588. <laughs> views on one. But dude, with, with you have eight nine subscribers. subscribers now. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's 10. 10. Oh, my God. Let's go. Look at that. Wow, guys. So, yeah, sub see, subscribe we've to it Apple back. Track Shorts on YouTube. But no, I, I think Apple Track makes, I think it makes sense. I, th I think you, it does too. It, I, honestly, it that was, worked on Twitter. It's, yeah. it's just the nostalgia. Because now that you say that, bro, I used to have iUpdateNews.com. Yep. And nobody cared. <laughs> the Apple Track name works. Use God. that brand. Okay. All right. Well, it's decided. I'm going through. There's somebody working on my branding. Because like, it, it is the same content. It's just like long, it's longer form video on YouTube of me mm -hmm. being like, you know, still kind of like the news, but also like kind of fun. Yeah. Little vibey. Funny, yeah. And that's quirky. what Apple Track Twitter is, you got honestly. got a podcast yeah. going on there. It's just yeah. fun. That's what I love about it. It's not just like you're giving facts. You're kind of, I don't know, you're always being more fun. You're posting like different videos. Yeah. You're giving your thoughts. Well, I'm and trying to the do way, the culture. Like, the, yeah. the, Let's call them legacy media outlets who have been, let's say, adopting some, let's say, tactics. Yes. And those are very optimistic ways of putting it. Yes. It is very obvious. That what you're doing is working. <laughs> well, it is very obvious that they are trying to copy. It does not feel yes. genuine. And it honestly is a little, it, like, it makes me wince. Bro, I saw I a tweet. It.
AppleTrack.com largely I consider a failure. I really? mean, I mean, I don't know. I think some of the journalists were pretty good. No, no, like, <laughs> oh wait, that's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were your oh, employees. Yeah. There were these <laughs> two other guys. No, no, I don't no. Know, was, the work, cool. the work that was done, I'm really proud of. It's just that it didn't. Um, it did, the the website didn't resonate like the socials do, and that was a lesson I learned. Like, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not afraid to say so, that I think the website kind of failed. <laughs> wow, we've been going for almost an hour. Should we wrap it up? I, I guess we should. Now, I, now I kind of want to break an hour out. just because. Like we, it's fifty-seven minutes. I feel like we gotta go like another right. like six or seven. minutes. We'll vamp for six minutes because I'm gonna have to edit some stuff. I don't actually feel that tired. I don't feel tired at all. But I, Lucas, bro, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna like, die. I'm seconds. getting tired. I'm getting tired, bro. Okay. I think it's the anticipation of waking up at six thirty. That's what it is. It oh. just that's, it makes me anxious. Yeah. We looked at changing my flight <laughs> to be later. And it was a thousand dollars. One thousand big ones. Yeah, for was, a two-hour flight. Big one. It was stupid. That's that's not happening. Sorry, no, United. no, no, no. That's you're not gonna get a thousand dollars. No, that's absurd. I don't know any any parting shots. I mean, this is this is a fun in-person podcast. Like, I definitely feel. I, I mean, we got to do this with John. Oh, absolutely. He, to be, just so everybody knows, John was invited to this and, like, everything. He just yeah. he couldn't make it. Like It's like we're just, we're just doing this. Like, 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 yo, let's, let's He's actually go in the closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John. He's locked in the, in the bathroom right, right now. He's in the bathroom. Yeah, right there, yeah. yeah. No, no. Yeah. We, we wanted him to be here. We really wish John was here. He just um, couldn't make it. It's okay. We'll, we'll make it happen another time. Man's crazy busy making these videos and running to websites and... Dude, I cannot imagine running a website and a YouTube channel. <laughs> Bro, that's How do you been do my, it? John, Luke, why that's why, do you that's do why it? it shut down. I couldn't do it anymore. It's too much. I was I was spending four hours a day on AppleTrack.com Bro, and you to, didn't make, make any to money. make eight bucks. Eight? <laughs> you made eight dollars? I mean, it depended on the day, but it was like, no, it was not, it oh. was not a living wage. <laughs> it was fun, though. Yeah. I, enjoy, I enjoyed writing. No, no, I wrote you like did great. Two dollars an I wrote like hour. ten articles. Let's be real. So that's why I just say I'll do it for free, and have fun with it. Yeah, and it's a lot less work, and it's doing better. Like the <laughs> it's result, doing a lot better. It, like being able to see, because it's like yeah, w I, <laughs> an article would get five thousand views, a tweet gets six hundred thousand impressions in a Good day. Good God, yeah. Like that's the amount nuts. of people I'm reaching, and that's the mission. The mission isn't about the money. It's about connecting people to to apple news because this is very metaphorical but like apple is a, a ubiquitous company like yeah, everyone yes. in some way cares about what apple does and i'm really trying to capitalize on like the diehards as well as like the casual apple fan that gets a new iphone every three years yeah. I, I just think technology is so fundamentally part of our lives that I sound like I'm on a soapbox, but I promise this is like it, this is You're actually a, a mission. Piano bench, but that's piano bench. I, like it is a mission close. that I have. Is like I, and I want to make chair. Apple News more accessible. Like there's such a barrier to entry. Like you shouldn't have to go to a 20 year old website and read learn. like four. You should just be able to see a post like, oh, the iPhone's gonna be purple. That's sick. And then it's like when you know, then when somebody brings it up, it's like, oh, I, I saw it might be yeah. purple this year. Rather than you're never gonna click on an article and scroll through a bunch of ads. And get some journalists take like those websites are great and they should exist and I, I respect anyone who's taking the time to do that and does it successfully. Here's the That's thing. That's just though, not who I am. Is is that not antithetical to doing an Apple News YouTube channel? Because isn't that also <sighs> long form content? But there's humor that takes a lot longer. Well, fair. If your if your if your argument is that you want to make it more accessible and more, you know. <laughs> bite-sized then is is a youtube channel for the diehards y yes but I, I would also say my goal is to, accessibility what i'm saying is is to be everywhere that the people are i don't think we announced this yet but on like around the next episode of genius bar on september 1st is going to be a co-podcast with mac rumor Oh really? Yeah, oh, wow. we're gonna do it with Hartley and and Dan. Oh, I love that. We I guess we haven't announced it. I, maybe John's gonna be mad at me for just spilling. Okay, last thing I want to say because this is for the true diehards. If he was here, he. If you're still watching right now, then oh, you are I the wanna, absolute. It'll OG. just be like 57 minutes. <laughs> okay, you guys tried on rough prototypes of merch. Do Ooh. not. Okay. Do not describe describe okay. what it is without describing what it is. It is a garment. Okay, that's a good. It is a comfortable garment. It is a clothes. 
It is a cloth. What's, a one what? singular unit of clothes. Yes, it is one cloth. Is it something that you were... I would wear it every expecting? day. Expecting? Yeah. Expecting, no. no. Is it something that is hype as hell? Yes. yes. All right. That's all. That's the only teaser you're getting. There you go. We are working on the Stick next to. drop. Uh, I'm working my ass off to make it happen. I'm going to need Dude, this one. I Sam, is how a, many do we make? We've been doing animal. 150. More than that. Dude, you're, Dude you're, I would buy you're four. You're packaging <laughs> them yourself. I know. Get someone to it do that. It doesn't make sense. This man. Poor you Sam. You could sell more than 150 if you didn't package each they one They sell in like manually. four seconds, dude. I know. We, we're going to oh do more. We're going to do more. That's why John needs to move to St. Louis so we can have a warehouse. You need an intern. I do need an intern. I'll no, because now everybody's going to message no, me. No, like, no. I'll be your intern. And like, I, you don't I'm want kidding. a warehouse. You need a company that does this stuff, that does distribution. There's something satisfying about putting the UPS label on every... Okay, so okay on 150, you sure. Put you really want to do it on 1,000? No, I know it's not sustainable. This guy. It's just... I have, I have a label printer. You know what else is not sustainable? Do you think Linus... Oh, you're going to... Do you want to know what else is not sustainable? <laughs> you're going to do. Is this the continuation podcast. of this oh. podcast, because I am on the brink of death. Are you really? Really? I'm not tired. I'm really I, tired. I am tired now. I mean, okay, we've been I'm going... I'm tired, but I could... I want to like stay up and well, watch Ian, something. We have to go to bed. Until 4 a.m. This is uh, at Ian Zelbo on Twitter. This is at Luke Miani. This is YouTube.com slash. Do you have it? Export to the way. This is YouTube.com slash Luke Miani. I, of course, am your host, Sam Cole. And John Prosser is, of course, he's watching in down the bathroom. He's the watching clouds. down on us from the clouds as he has ascended with his Apple Watch ah. flat leak. <laughs> Which we didn't even talk about. Oh, yeah. Oh, we don't need to get into that. Don't worry about Thank you guys this. for watching. This was actually very fun. This and it started fun. out chaotic. Surprised. I hope that people. What do you mean, it? what? Because it's with you guys. That's why I seem surprised. Well, I hope people liked it. I mean, let us know. Let like, us do you want to see more? This yes. is going to be a weird experiment. I'm throwing this up on the Genius channel. I don't know if it's going to get more than 10 views. I Maybe assume 11 since or John I will watch it four times. We do have to do a thumbnail. Oh, so oh, we'll yeah. have to do that when we're done. I'm not looking at the camera. Look look in the lens. Oh my god, I never looked at that lens. Do different faces. Okay, we don't need to hold the mics. Okay, well we're gonna go. We <laughs> This is all we have to <laughs> do the thumbnail. Leave that in? <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll end it. Yeah. Goodbye yeah. guys, we love you. I Bye. never looked at the lens. Let me know if you liked it. Okay, so the mic's down. We'll do that. Ew, my head is so disgusting. No, is well. Wait, I don't want this to I was switching back and forth, I'm fine. Bro, Gen Z is crazy. Oh my god, we did it. We should put all that in. <laughs>